Here this question is asking consider the following first uh, baseband message signal and here we have five message signal provided for each of the five signals we have to sketch the spectrum sketch the spectrum of DSPSC signal for this one and then identify the USB and LSB spectra here I'm gonna deal with the part three of this because I made a video of part one and part two and in this video I'm gonna do the part three and uh, if you wanna know these things you can watch my previous video and uh, these are the, are the other two message signal I'm gonna make it in my next video okay so in this video just the three third part that is cos 205t plus rectangular hundred t <clears throat> so first step thing is sketch the spectrum of m of t in order to do this one we have to convert this one into frequency domain so we are going to do the Fourier transform of this one so if you do that this is going to be m3 of omega this one is m3 of t and m3 of omega is going to be the Fourier transform of this one and there are some properties you can use to do the Fourier transform if you do the Fourier transform for the cos 200 phi t you will get phi of delta and omega with whatever the value inside is going to be shifted left and right so we are going to have omega minus 200 phi and uh, we have to just look at the omega okay this is cos omega t omega is 200 phi in this case that is the value the omega value is going to be shifted 205 plus delta omega plus 205 and uh, that is the Fourier transform of the cos 200 phi t now rectangular if you do the Fourier transform we will get a sync function or you can express in, express in terms of sine as well so in sine is going to be 2 sine omega over 200 over omega okay this is the one we get once we have this we can go ahead and draw the diagram okay for the first part it's just an impulse function shifted 200 phi to the right and left so we're gonna have something like this at 200 So this is an impulse function and this one also impulse function this is negative 205 and this one is 205 and the second part is we have a sine wave so we are going to have something like this Okay, this is what we get now once we have this diagram, that's that's the a part okay this is m3 of omega in terms of omega okay now that's the a part it's based the spectrum of m of t and the b part is as b part is asking sketch the spectrum of dsbsc signal to m of t cos 2000 phi t so here we have to just look at the omega value in this in this case that is 2005 so this signal is going to be shifted based on this omega value so it's going to be 2005 to the right and 2005 to the left so the new diagram is going to have like two of the like is this is going to be double because of this signal dsbsc signal this is going to be double but it's going to be shift centered at 2005 left and 2005 right 
so let's go ahead and do it in the next page <laughs> So the B part for this is for the diagram. copy this one and I'm going to paste it here and shift it like 2000 pi to the right and left okay, let's assume this is the 2000 pi in the left side and do the same thing in the right side as well okay this is it so this is going to be centered at negative 2005 and this one is going to be centered at 2005 and if this is 2005 then this one is 20, uh, 200 away from this so this is going to be 1800 here and uh, this one is 205 away from this so 2205 here <coughs> in the negative also it's going to be same thing so this is going to be 1805 and this is going to be 2200 minus 2205 and then these 200s are not necessary and also we remove the middle part because it's from previous graph Okay, so this is what's going to happen after it has been spec. It has been with the DSPSC 2m of t cos 2000 pi t. We have to just look at the omega whenever they have provided DSPSC signal. If you are drawing the graph in terms of omega, if you are doing for free, like you can draw using frequency or angular frequency, that's omega. If you do for frequency, then you have to look at this one, 2 phi ft. So uh, you have to take 2 out, 2 and 5, 5 is already out. Two, if you take 2 out, 1000 is going to be the frequency. So you can do that or this is going to be same thing. Okay. And here we are doing in terms of omega here. And then uh, this is... DSP of output signal okay and that's gonna be it for this and then the third part is identify the USB and LSP spectra so USB and LSP we had to look at 2000 and what is before and after but here we have impulse functions so that it makes the band infinite so for this one we don't particularly not we are not going to have a range we just going to have infinite for both of them see 
for m3 of t else be infinite and then usb also infinite okay that's it for this video i hope you guys found this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next